through how to use PowerPoint. So for this one, there is another assignment. So you can view the assignment just again by from your Teams icon, select on your remote learning site, and in the post you can see the view assignment here. Click on view assignment, the assignment then will load up. In this case, it is a PowerPoint. Produce a PowerPoint presentation about hobby or interest. You should have at least five different sides to your presentation. And again, this is worth 10 points. So hover over the nine, click on the nine dots. This time you're gonna open a PowerPoint. Click on PowerPoint, it will then open up the PowerPoint. You are going to then open up a new blank PowerPoint. You could use some of the templates that are available to you. Once the blank PowerPoint uh, application is opened, there'll be, again, some very simple um, formatting tools at the top that you can get familiar with the more times you use it. Um, but it should look just like this, just as it begins to load up now. So usually it opens with a title page. So this one, you can enter choose your title so this is about your hobby you could then change what that hobby is about so there we go and you can put your name with it just to go with it if you want to add a new slide you can click on the new slide button here and then you can choose one of the different slides that layouts that are available to you so I could have a title and a content one I could click add slide it will load up so a hobby or interest then could be inserted there so if it was swimming for instance that you wanted to talk about you could have a title and you could discuss what swimming was about what you enjoy about it add some images to it so the images would be inserted via here so click on the insert button and then you can add pictures in here once you've finished again you need to go to file you need to save a copy save a copy and this time let's call it hobby as the file that we're going to save it to and then click save. This will then automatically save it again and it will continue to save it live. So any updates you make to it will be continually saved. So you don't have to worry about going back and saving it too frequently. network is being quite slow today when I'm just doing this video but there we go we've managed to get there so now I've finished with that I can close all those bits down so I don't need them anymore I can go back to here uh, I can add my work like I did last time with the word document it will take me to my OneDrive I can find the relevant file which is there for hobby it will tick next to it here that you'll see it's ticked I can click attach Again, the blue status bar will update to show you that it is uploading and then it will disappear once it's fully uploaded and then we can click hand in and that is your work submitted. So again, this work is worth 10 points available to you and your teacher will then receive a notification once that piece of work has been submitted and therefore it can be marked and checked.